First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakodash. Next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, who teach and who rule well. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith, regardless of whether we're here or forbear. And I just want to do a quick read, some quick lunch break lesson uh, on First Peter chapter 4. I was doing my daily reading, and I figured this would be a good... Uh, a good chapter to feed, feed the flock with, feed the spirit. Just uh, just quick exhortation. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, First Peter chapter 4, verse 1, and it reads, For as much then as the Hamashiach has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of the Most High. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. So, you know, we, we suffer we suffer now uh, to discipline us, to keep our mind focused. So the Lord, he sends adversity, the bread of adversity our way, Okay, and that keeps the discipline, keeps our minds focused, so we don't really get too comfortable in this world. Okay, because being comfortable in this world means subscribing to the ideologies of this world, and the ideologies of this world are contrary to the Most High. That's why it says, "Love not the world, nor the things that are in the world." And it also says in the scriptures that uh, em that um, that our friendship with this world is enmity with the Most High. Okay, because these are the things that the the world is doing. Uh, walking in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries, right? So lasciviousness, doing too much, okay? Doing too much uh, lust, we all know what that is. Uh, unclean desires, excess of wine, excess of wine, uh, being an alcoholic, being a drunk. And there's nothing wrong with enjoying, enjoying um, a drink every now and then. The scriptures say that, that uh, wine was made to make the uh, hearts of men glad, okay? But, um, you know, we shouldn't be, that shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be alcoholics. Shouldn't be desiring strong drink all the time, you know, only for the certain times when, when it's permitted uh, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries, wherein they think it's strange that ye not, that ye run not with them to the same excess of right, speaking evil of you. So that's what's gonna happen. You turn, you turn from wickedness, uh, you try to clean up your ways through the word, through the washing of the word of the Bible, um, you know, then they, people will speak evil of you because now you, you don't conform to the ways of this world anymore. And just, just you even attempting to live a clean, righteous lifestyle according to the words of the Bible, it's offensive to the people of the world. Verse 5, who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? Okay. Because that's, and that's speaking of Yahweh Shai. He's going to judge the quick, meaning those that are alive, okay? And that's, that's physically and spiritually, um, and vice versa. The dead, those, are who, those who are uh, dead spiritually and in the grave, okay? And it says in the scriptures, the scripture that says, um, she who liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth, okay? Now, I would, I would go to all these scriptures individually, but I'm pressed for time. I'm, I just want to do a quick lunch break lesson before I got to head back in. Verse 6, for this, call, for this cause was the, the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh. So that's what it's speaking of. Because how could you preach something to someone who's dead? It's, it means dead in the spirit, right? Most, most people that walk the earth are living in pleasure, okay? And that, mean, that means that they're spiritually dead. You know, they're uh, on drugs, uh, you know, alcoholics, uh, unclean, lust of the flesh, you know, um, I, 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 idolatry, adultery, you know, murder, and all these things. You can find the, the lust of the flesh in, um, in Galatians chapter 5. But so, they, so that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God, to the most high God in the spirit. The, and his name is Yahweh, but the end of all things is at hand. So we know, according to the scriptures, you know, we're supposed to be watching, uh, watching the times, seeked out a time diligently, 
um, because the end of all things is near, okay? Meaning Jacob's trouble is approaching the issuing out of that sea hip, uh, World War Three. It's all so like, yeah, I can put my phone on DND. These people blow my phone up, man. It's irritating. It's like it. So we get right back into it <clears throat> before the video got cut off. But uh, it says, um, the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. And you go to that word charity. As a matter of fact, I do got the time. Let's go into that in the blue letter. So I'm at First Peter chapter four, verse eight. Okay, let's see what that word charity means. G twenty six. Strong's G twenty six. Agape. 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 Let's see. Love, affection, or benevolence. Okay. So to be have benevolence towards one another. Let's see. Affection, goodwill, brotherly love, benevolence. Okay. So that's how we ought to be acting towards each other. Let's see. Let's keep reading. Um, where was I at? Verse 8. Yep. For charity, agape, shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. As every man hath received a gift, even so minister the same one to another. As good stewards of the manifold grace of the Most High. Okay. So the Lord, I'm stewards, like meaning showing, like showing through, um, the manifold grace of the Most High should show through our words and through our actions towards our brethren. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles, oracles of the Most High. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which the Most High giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Okay, so when you're speaking, all the words that you speak should be, should be ministering. Uh, keep calling me. So like you, uh, if any man minister, let him do it as the ability which the Most High giveth. Okay, so it all should be done to glorify our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing hath happened unto you. Because we know that there's a scripture that says, um, it says, he who departed from evil make himself a prey. Let's get that right quick. Isaiah 59 and 15, yea, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil make himself a prey. Okay. So don't don't consider it a strange thing when, when the fiery darts of the enemy start start flying your way, man. We gotta put on the full armor of the most high. Let's see. It says, uh, beloved, think not it strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing have happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with this exceeding joy. So we're going to we partake of his sufferings because he was wrongly persecuted in this, in this life. And the same thing is going to happen to us. Okay? If you be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, happy are ye. So when you're out there on the highways and byways and people speak evil of you, reproach and coming against you, this is a good thing. Take joy. For the spirit of glory and of the most high resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. So don't be so don't don't be suffering because you kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? If you're reproached because you do evil or because you're constantly getting in folks' business, then then you take no joy in that. Yet if any man suffer, as a disciple, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify the Most High on this behalf. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, the house of God, and that's with, that's with us, that's with the, 
with the one third. And we're facing judgment right now for all of our past wickedness. That's what it's speaking of. You know, we're up under the curses. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh Shai? Hamashiach. Okay, Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing. So let them that suffer according to the will. Okay? So it's in the will. If we suffer, it's all in the will of the Heavenly Father and only begotten Son. So let them that suffer according to his will commit the keeping of their souls to to him in well doing as unto a faithful creator. So when when you suffer according to the will of the most high, we gotta we gotta that should motivate us even more to keep on pushing. Okay, that means that the Lord is dealing with us because it says in Hebrews chapter twelve that uh that the most high uh in chat whoever's disciplined one of him is 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 um is being treated as a son in the most high, okay? You know, and, and you that means that you're part of the adoption. That's how we know. That's part of how we know. The Lord don't discipline you, then that's not good. Because it tells us in 2 Maccabees chapter 6 that the Lord um, disciplines, um, he disciplines us, not so with other nations. Okay? So with that being said, Lord willing, this was edifying. All praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash, and uh, Shalom.